violence in Libyan prisons is committed on such a scale and with such a level of organization that it may also potentially amount to crimes against humanity. The Supreme Court of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court of Syria has been in the development of human rights in the areas of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court for 10 years. Um, thank you very much indeed for those questions. And if I may take the issue of Afghanistan first, um, if you will recall uh, the resolution. Since March 2011, Syria's human rights have been severely violated, initially by the government's security forces and increasingly so by other armed actors. Madam High Commissioner, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President, distinguished president, excellencies, colleagues, and friends. My statement this morning will update the Council on a series of human rights situation and themes that are of concern of my office. For two years, two months, and 21 days, I didn't see the sunlight. I felt like I was inside a grave. Torture is rife. Many were beaten, electrocuted, or forced to hang for long periods from just one or two limbs. Globally, access to COVID-19 vaccines have been shockingly unequal. By 1st of December, barely 8% of adults had received one dose in, of vaccine in low-income countries, compared to 65% in high-income countries. The rapid seizure of much of the country, including the capital, by the Taliban has raised grave fears of a return to past patterns of human rights violations and stoked desperation among many Afghans, 